child at that time. These children did not speak English, they did not speak French, they spoke Wolof. And the computers were in English, and it was Logo at the time, and they played those keyboards like fish swimming in water. They learned it as fast as the kids in the suburbs of Boston. And we looked at this, we said, wow, can this scale? Can this scale up to a very large number? Well, 20 years had to pass, literally 20 years. And I spent my time sort of following Seymour's work at, because he was one of the founders of the Media Lab, which was really built on at least those three principles. And then going back to it after having built the Media Lab from roughly three people to about four or five hundred. And Seymour always talked about construction versus instruction. Most people in this room know and believe that. He always talked about how good it was that reinventing the wheel was really very, very important. And he always talked about coding as thinking about thinking. So the, this, is, this is sort of foundational. And yet, in the United States, most of the United States, educated, well-off United States, thinks that if their kids learn how to code, they'll get jobs at Google. Well, that's ridiculous. It's not the route to employment. It's the route to thinking about thinking. And that's why five-year-olds, six-year-olds, seven-year-olds, and eight-year-olds should do it. Because when you debug a computer program, you exhibit a behavior. You look at what's wrong, you modify it, you re-execute it, you look at the behavior, you modify it, and finally you get it right. And that iteration is the closest we'll ever come to learning about learning. There's nothing closer. So that was sort of the foundation. And then, from my point of view, as I got older and I was spending I've always been at MIT, been there my whole life. Um, I wake up in the morning and I ask one question. Will normal market forces do what I'm doing today? And if the answer is yes, then stop. Because normal market forces will do it. My job, and some of your jobs, is to do what normal, far, more, normal market forces won't do. And go back tonight and think about it. Think of the things you cherish in life. Think of the things that make your life good. And you'll find that almost none of them come to you through normal market forces. <laughs>